The serial manufacturing of the Tu-204 and Tu-214 aircraft was split into two plants, the Kazan Aviation Plant and Aviastar SP in Yulianovsk, due to strategic and operational concerns. In 1992, Aviastar SP started producing the Tu-204, and then in 1996, Capo unveiled the Tu-214 derivative. The necessity of using the production capabilities already present at both plants at a difficult time for the Russian aviation sector, which was undergoing transition following the fall of the Soviet Union, had an impact on this decision. Nomaust, the Tu-214, was created to satisfy particular operational needs, such as longer range and higher payload capacity. These improvements required specialized production procedures, which Capo promptly adopted. By switching to civilian aircraft manufacturing, the Kazan company, which had a wealth of experience in military aircraft production, could retain qualified personnel and modify its infrastructure to meet new production needs. In the meantime, Eviastar SP kept manufacturing further Tu-204 variations, making sure that both plants helped satisfy a range of market demands. Better personnel, utilization, and resource allocation were also made possible by dividing production between two plants. This method shortened lead times for aircraft deliveries while increasing overall output. By concentrating on distinct facets of production, each facility improved productivity and made specialization possible. For example, Aviastar SP produced several versions of the aircraft, while Capo focused on building the more expensive Tu-214 model with its redesigned fuselage and reinforced wing. Government initiatives to maintain jobs in many areas and preserve technological capabilities in Russia's aviation industry also influenced the decision to start production at both factories. During a time of economic instability, the government revitalized domestic aircraft manufacturing while ensuring economic stability in important industrial zones by subsidizing several facilities. As part of Russia's efforts to grow its aviation industry, both Aviastar SP and Capo are now modernizing to enhance their manufacturing capacity. With intentions to greatly boost yearly output in the upcoming years, Capo is improving its manufacturing technology to match the government's ambitious targets for the Tu-214. However, Aviastar SP is taking new directions. 2016 saw the production of the final known Tupolev Tu-204. Delivered to the Russian government for official usage, this aircraft was a Tu-204-300 variation, a shorter fuselage version of the Tu-204 series. In particular, it was a VIP arrangement designed for the flying senior officials. There have been no verified reports of new Tu-204 aircraft production since 2016. Presumably, the company has redirected some of its attention from new production to the maintenance and modernization of current Tu-204 fleets. The market and operations still require the older model. The plant anticipates modifying its production capacity to meet market demands and governmental orders related to domestic aviation requirements. Therefore, is Aviastar SP abandoning the production of civil aircraft? To improve its production capacity and meet the demands of modern aviation, Aviastar SP is undergoing extensive modernization work. The comprehensive upgrade of the Antonov AN-124 Ruslan large transport aircraft is one of the projects the company is working on. Aviastar SP will upgrade three Antonovs under a government contract. The goal is to improve the aircraft's reliability and performance while extending its service life. Aviastar SP is also actively involved in the production of the IL-76 MD-90A heavy transport aircraft, which involves significant design modifications. The work includes updating the engines, strengthening the landing gear, and updating the wing and center section components. To integrate modern digital equipment, the onboard navigation and electronic systems are also undergoing considerable updates. Additionally, Aviastar SP is involved in several other projects, including the IL-114-300 regional aircraft and the MC-21 medium-haul passenger aircraft. By creating parts for the next-generation aircraft that satisfy present operating needs, these projects show Aviastar SP's dedication to developing its manufacturing capabilities 
and supporting Russia's aviation sector. Aviastar SP plans to upgrade its facilities and technologies as part of its modernization strategy to accommodate higher production rates for both military and commercial aircraft parts. Plans to create new versions, like a tanker version of the TU-204, which would make use of current commercial aircraft designs for military applications, are part of this. The TU-204 tanker aircraft is still only a concept, though, this indicates that as Aviastar SP modernizes its operations, it is turning its attention away from the construction of civilian aircraft, especially the Tupolev Tu-204. The plant's primary focus is military aircraft, particularly the Il-76 variants and other military versions. Aviastar SP, under an agreement with the Russian Ministry of Defense, anticipates producing 39 Il-76 MD-90A aircraft, a significant quantity. This shift is indicative of larger patterns in the Russian aviation sector, where a greater emphasis is being placed on military manufacture in reaction to shifting geopolitical conditions and internal demands. As a result, even though Aviastar SP might continue to produce some civilian aircraft parts, its future seems to be moving more and more in line with military aviation initiatives. Now, do you think the Tu-204 is a dead model? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.